you're looking at video of the first coyote pup we came across on Monday night as we put together, yes, a coyote warning story at St. Mary's Recreation Center Field in San Francisco. Who would have thought? Anyway, recently the summer kids camp here was moved elsewhere and the field closed due to the high number of coyote sightings. It's really important to follow leash laws and try to uh, pay attention to where you're taking your dogs, pay attention to the signage. But where there is one pup, there are often two pups or more. There is sometimes a mom coyote and a dad coyote. Yes, it seems that it was a family event and five coyotes began playing on the ball field for our camera here in Bernal Heights. From what we've heard, it's a similar scene in the Presidio's Mountain Lake Park dog area, one that is now closed to dogs due to at least three dog coyote incidents in recent weeks. No dogs or humans were injured at this location, but the concern over these animals is there. It seems that most we talked with here have had positive experiences. The coyote and him were approaching each other oh. and, you know, in a, in a friendly manner. And, and we both yelled and Stu ran and got Obi to come away from the coyote. They were really playing. I mean, they were just like going down uh, the way dogs do with each other and kind of yeah. nosing back and forth. The beautiful sight of a coyote is not always welcome, though. Less than three weeks ago, a five-year-old girl was attacked by a coyote in San Francisco's Botanical Garden at Golden Gate Park. Officials later killed three coyotes and linked one of them through DNA to the bite. The kids were relatively close to the tree line and also relatively close to the den, um, which are two things that should not happen near coyotes. Um, and then from all accounts, it seems like this coyote kind of was um, very stimulated by all the screaming and yelling and sort of playfulness of kids as they as young kids are. We kept our distance from this family, though. If this was playtime before dinner, we wanted no part of that, nor did those in the neighborhood who say they've seen even more coyotes than this in recent days here. As for the coyote warning, I think the video here speaks for itself. Be careful out there. J.R. Stone, ABC7 News.